city and my mother and I we got a, a, a little house I think it was a small little house on Normandy near um, Franklin in Hollywood and I was like nine years old and uh, our first studio I went to was 20th Century Fox and that was the great studio uh, Henry King was one of the directors first movie I ever did as a child actor I grew up in the business I left Hollywood, I did a lot of films, I left here and I became a comedian, you know, and uh, then I went back to New York and I traveled all over the world. Show business is my life. And La Mer, a life of show business is yours also, is that right? Absolutely. Grew up in the business. I grew up in the business. I was born in a trunk. Born in the trunk, like Judy Garland used to say. <laughs> That's right. Your mother, father, father uh, was showbiz too? goes all the way back to the beginning of time. Really? Yes. I was born into a show business family. Uh -huh. As comedians or singers or dancer, uh, ba da dancers? Well, right. my mother's a dancer. She's not, uh, I don't really think she has much of a sense of humor except for when she is dancing. Most right. of the time she doesn't find anything that funny. She moves funny though. Uh -huh. And she's a fabulous dancer. My father is a comedian. Uh -huh. He still is a comedian. And when you use the word sense of humor, the mayor, I am talking that you are a comedian <laughs> actress. You're not just, uh, you know, pretty. You are Ooh. a comedian actress Thank and you. Uh, you work all over. Matter of fact, you uh, do the comedy stores, you do the laugh, uh, all laugh batteries, you do the on the road. Matter of fact, you just got back from Carolina. But first of all, when you started as a child, were you a dancer or funny or actress or singer? What? Everything that you just said. Um, I started out as the class clown, so that gave me a, <laughs> a uh -huh. chance to be comedic. And I was a dancer. I was a dancer with my mother and my father. We had this um, really unsavory little family act that we did. We'd go to the motion picture hospital, you know, right. where these uh, silent screen stars were on their last leg, and they're like, oh, the my. picture home. Right. right. And we would perform there. And it was funny because after we were finished, they'd say, oh, what did I just see? And then we'd say, you uh -huh. just saw us. And they go, oh, did we uh -huh. like it? Uh -huh. And it was um, quite incredible. We, we would sing, uh, we ain't got a barrel of money. Ooh. And This is um, you and your dad. And my mother. And your mother. So it's a treason yes. like Rosie O'Grady. Go ahead. Yes. Interesting. And it, uh, Buddy Ibsen was there. And uh -huh. uh, it was quite incredible because uh -huh. it was a lot of uh, dancing going on, and I uh -huh. sang. Uh -huh. And my mother put on a lot of recitals because after she stopped professionally dancing, right. she taught dancing at a dancing studio. That's so what they usually do, don't they? Exactly. Uh -huh. And uh, I had to be in all the numbers, of course, and uh -huh. I had to be the lead dancer, even though I wasn't the best dancer. Right. I could sell, Skippy. Right. Showmanship. I'm an okay dancer. It's called finesse. Yes, but I can sell. Uh huh. You know. Your father's the Colonel Sanders uh, of, um, he did a lot of commercials. He's the, he's the Colonel Sanders. He's the actor that plays actor Colonel Sanders. Yeah, the Colonel real Sanders. Colonel Sanders is no longer with us. He's no, in heaven. But, but your uh, father plays the actor. Yes. yes. Yes, he does. And, well, that gets him a lot of work, commercials and stuff. Well, like he's, it. yeah, he's finger looking good. And uh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he finger does, looking good. I like is, that. He does a lot of, you can uh, see him on the Leno show. Uh -huh. He's done 10. 
He's done. Like well, when they do a spoof on different restaurants, right? You know, they'll bring him on and they'll have him with a bucket of chicken or feathers coming out of his mouth because he's a comedian. He's uh -huh. not just the actor that plays. You know, right, so they can right. use him. And he just did uh -huh. a movie in Italy, and he's still working. And you're an actress also. Oh, absolutely. Voiceovers, yes. actress, comedian, mm -hmm. and glamorous. And guess Ooh. what? And everything's so and real. And hair. You are so real. You'll never drown. <laughs> believe me. I'm looking. <laughs> Mer 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 I can't believe it. La Mer. Hair what? styling. When did you get into hair styling? Because you cut hair. Yeah, also. it's a very interesting thing. Um, coming from a showbiz family, my father was uh, very nervous about it. Because, you know, unless you're very, very famous, even if you are famous, there's off time. Right. And so he told me, you know, I should learn a trade. Or marry a very rich man. Right. But he said, by the looks of your table manners, you better learn how to do something. Mm -hmm. so, so I learned you, how to you cut went to hair. A beautician school and it well, yeah, I I can look at anybody and tell them what's wrong with them. Really. So I thought I should be paid so for it. So you had it. a good you had a good eye for that. At least. Yeah, anything artistic, you know, painting, drawing, mm -hmm. and what I did is I'd find these guys at school that were really hideous, mm -hmm. and I'd make them over so I could have a hot boyfriend, and then they'd dump me for somebody else. Oh, really. So I thought, why should not get paid? The <laughs> mayor. Write material? You do all your own writing? Yes. Actually, you know how I write material? How? I, I'll, I'll be privy to people's conversations, or I'll see somebody in a store, or I'll see some character somewhere, and I just bring it to the stage. I don't sit like with a typewriter and go, oh, today I'm going to write something. I, right. I'm, I'm a visual person who uh -huh. says funny things and who picks up slices of life and then gives them uh, uh -huh. on the stage. Your mother is in Palm Springs Follies right now. <laughs> She's been there. She is a big hit with Ooh. the line of girls, the Can Can Kitsu. Right. The girls, Palm Springs Follies. Tell me yes. about that. I mean, it's amazing. You have to be at least 60 years old or so. 60 to be in the years show. old to and, be in up. The show and up. And she's the Golden Tapper. The Golden tapper. tapper. And it's a great show. I mean, it's not just people who do a little step here and they're out in wheelchairs and you're like, oh, God, are they going to make it through the act? They really can dance. Really? They really can sing. They're and so a professional. She, she had to audition. And you have to have had some type of history. You had yes. to either be motion pictures. My mother was at the Palmer House in Chicago. Chicago, one of the greatest. With the Mariel Abbott dancers. That's who your mother... I worked there. Yes. Not there, but I worked Chicago. And I remember the, Mar uh, the Abbott's dancers. Yes. Your mother was one of the Abbott dancers. Oh, she was like the, the What is your star? mother's name, may I ask? Uh, Beverly Allen. June Beverly Taylor Allen. was okay. in the uh, was one Beverly of the dancers. Beverly Allen. But, uh, June Taylor was one of the dancers. Yes, right. And she went off and did her own thing. Uh huh. So I you had to be really good. My my mother appeared in some films. Uh huh. And they threw her across the room. And she was also an acrobatic, mm -hmm. and she could tap. They so knockabout. Oh, she was fabulous. Yeah. And um, basically, they my father and my mother met on a USO show because my father's a jazz guitarist and a comedian. He had an act. Uh -huh. He would travel around with Johnny Grant. You know the mayor Johnny of, Grant, of, um, mayor of Hollywood. Hollywood. And uh. They met in USO and they loved each other at that time and, and got married. So she tried out for the show because I think my mother should have continued dancing. She should have not had a family. She's still dancing, still, still dances. She has to. And she really she dances does. all the time. That's her whole life. Does she rehearse during the days at all? Well, I mean, the rehearsals are, yeah, they start the tough. rehearsals at like 10 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock. And right. they have one of these Broadway choreographers that, okay, girls, let's go, you know, uh -huh. and they don't give them a rest really, at all. They do. <laughs> and the audiences just love the show. Uh, they're packed. That guy makes $7 million. Palm Springs yes. Follies, it's called. Is that yes. right? Yes. That's nice. This is her second year there? Yes. Okay. They yeah. asked her back. They loved her. Oh, I think well, she no. kicks those, you know, she, she kicks, kicks her legs high. way up, you really? know. That's they right. like they like when the legs go high. Does La Mer kick high, too? Oh, honey. I know. I've seen your oh, act please. at the comedy store. I think you're I very, do everything. very funny. You're very funny. I'm a real kick. What comedian has inspired La Mer? Oh, gosh. I love Lucille Ball, and I love Jane Mansfield. Mm -hmm. I always felt like I was Lucille Ball with Jane Mansfield's uh -huh. body. And I love Gilda Radner. Yes, great. Uh, Barbara Streisand. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. you, like, you like Streisand? Love her. Uh -huh. Love her attitude. Love her in What's Up Doc. I think she's a fabulous comedian. Uh -huh. And uh, like I said, I love Gilda Radner. And um, there's a, a lot of well, Caroline Ray, who I opened yeah. for on Broadway. Right. I you think she's brilliant. Bo Whoopi Goldberg, I absolutely adore. You just got back from Broadway doing at Caroline. Yes. Yeah. How was that show, oh. that room? It was fabulous because Skippy, you know, had been working in Los Angeles and I'd been on the You're road. You're a valley girl. Let's see. Oh, well, yes. Valley girl. I was born in the valley. And the valley girls, do they speak? 
differently? Or is that well, just a the thing that's so great about being born in the Valley is that, you know, when they found out I had an IQ, they asked me to move. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, when you live in the Valley, you, like, pick up the accent. You say totally, you say like. And it's so funny because I have such a diverse family that my cousin Paul went to China uh -huh. on a business trip and met this very beautiful Chinese girl, and he brought her back to the Valley, and now she talks like this. Oh, what the... Ah! <laughs> I love when you do that Vietnamese girl. I love when you do the Vietnamese. <laughs> oh my God! Ah! Yeah, that was a good one. Yes. You do that at the comedy store and your oh, act. I, love I think it. you're funny. As so hell. I'm from the yes, I live in, in the, the valley. valley. Yes, and, and um, I just moved to West Hollywood because I felt it's a, it's a much freer town. Uh -huh. You know, you can wear purple hair and platforms and, and carry on and, and, and wear bathrobes and you uh -huh. know on the street. What makes you happy? What makes you happy? Oh gosh, just uh, life makes me happy. I'm a happy you're person. You're a happy person. You yeah, well, I, I, you know, comics aren't usually not happy people. Well, first of all, I forgive my parents. Okay, right. I had a crazy upbringing, right. and and I think once you let go of your childhood and and you embrace it, uh -huh. you can go on. And I, of course, I have a belief in God, so that helps me through the day. You have the whole spiritual thing. I have going the whole spiritual you. thing. I love it. Right. What makes life important for you? Uh, I think to make people laugh. And to bring joy. I, when I go on stage, That's I've why learned. You're a well, here's what I've learned to do. I've I've learned to give, not to get. A lot yeah. of people get on stage because they want to get. They want to get that. Ah, yeah. And that's part of it. But I'm there. I think that's that trooper thing within me. You know, my mother had a miscarriage on stage and she kept dancing. She did. Yes. So yeah. I have that in me. You know what I mean? I don't have a miscarriage in me, but no, you know. But even if you. But but I keep dancing and I keep I keep doing my act because I want to give to people because laughter is good medicine uh, to people and yes. it lifts their spirits up because you know so many people are are sad these days yeah. and and they they come to the clubs yes to to be uh uplifted what right? makes you sad what makes you sad I think um, somebody who doesn't clean up an exercise uh, <laughs> bench you know there's sweat all over it I don't what makes me sad is uh, people who don't have joy, who people joy, that yeah. don't have sense of humor, that don't have a sense of humor, yeah. that that, that, that haven't found God in their life. That makes me sad. Or people who you're using that word God again. So you're I, very I, spiritual. I'm into you? yeah, I'm into the Lord. I'm very into Him. You are. Oh, totally. Looking was, at you, you wouldn't. The people just you wouldn't would think never so. Think. Well, yeah. before I found God, I, I was a hoe. Now, how did you find God? Tell me. Uh, I asked some girl, you know, what sign astrological. Were you sign taking was. drugs or what? Oh, honey, please. Uh huh. I was doing the whole thing. I was sleeping around this town. So you had some hard nights. I had some very hard nights. Well, I had some hard beds, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nutty. <laughs> but no. Now, yeah, yeah, all I do is basically do my comedy and just kind of stay in my house. And my ex-husband lives next door, so that's nice. Uh -huh. My first you husband was a drag queen. Isn't that crazy? Your first husband was a drag queen? Yeah, Candy Kisses. Where was I? You mean I you was on were, drugs? You were, you were married to a drag queen oh, honey. first time? Yeah, we shared each other's clothes. It was wonderful. Really? Oh, please. Is this true? This I'm is, oh, what, you think I'm going to make this no, up? No, but I'm just telling. I can't believe please, it. Please, Mary. I mean, what did you do about I it? I don't know. I I I, you thought I was in man, beauty school. You thought every man dressed in drag? I don't know. I think it's because all the costumes. You know, my father dressed in costumes. My mother was in costumes. So it was a costume thing. I like costumes. I see. I have to yeah. watch it because when I see a guy in a costume who doesn't have a job, I love him. Really? Oh yeah, that's interesting. Oh, but now I've learned now. You know what my new thing is? What? I wait a few dates before I give them my PIN number to my ATM. <laughs> <laughs> what has been the hardest? What has been the hardest for from there? Because you seem like you're having a joyful. I have a time. joyful time. Uh, you know what? I think sometimes it's just being patient for that big break. You know, uh -huh. it takes a while. Is it that important for La Mer to? Oh, I love hearing my own name. Yeah, Thank but you. is it important for you to? to become a star? I think what it, it's important to me to be able to use my gifts. Mm -hmm. That's important to me. Uh, it's important to me to, uh, to, like I said, bring joy to people's life, to, to get on a stage where, where I feel like I belong. Even when I'm cutting hair, it's right. like I say the haircuts are free, they just pay for the entertainment. I love to entertain. So you entertain while you cut the hair? Oh, honey, please. Do you really? Oh. What do you say to them while you're cutting their Whatever hair? Whatever I can. You know, like if I look at them and they've got something wrong, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> like this woman came. I get, I get material like this. This, you know, like I said, I don't sit and write. Right. This woman came in. I'm not. I'm not kidding you. And she says, you know, Lemire, I love the way you've been doing my hair all these years. And when I die, I'd like you to do my hair for my funeral. So I said to her, Oh, how would you like it done? She says, I don't know. Surprise me. <laughs> so I mean, I go. You know, I love it. I get these guys that come in. They uh -huh. weigh like 400 pounds and uh -huh. they're middle aged, and they go, Yeah, I want the Clooney cut. 
And I go, yeah, George or Rosemary. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's fun. I, I look at people, and when somebody comes in like totally depressed going, I hate my life, I hate myself, I hate my hair. You know, I, I say, you know, I think you need a therapist, you know, mm -hmm. so <laughs> this hair is not going to change your that's life. Celebrities. Any celebrities you cut? Lots of, uh, I know you do a lot of show people, but. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, I've done everyone from Raquel Welch to uh, Ro Roseanne and uh -huh. uh, John La Raquette. Tell me about and Roseanne and, um, Barr. You, you're, she's well, at now the comedy she's just store. Now, yeah, just Roseanne. Mm -hmm. Now, she's at the comedy store. I know Mel store. Gibson. And yeah, right. Mel Gibson. Oh. You have cut his hair? Yes. Really? And his wife. She's very nice. Is she? Yes, she's a lovely woman. So are you funny with Mel Gibson? Oh, he's a trip. He was very funny. He's got a great sense of humor. And they usually do, don't yeah, they? Yeah, he's great. He's just like a regular, uh, uh, like like an Australian bloke. You know, he's bloke. just a real person. Uh-huh. Uh, really practical and Australians really funny. Australians are blokes are uh, like American uh, American guys. Yeah, really. he throws a shrimp on the barbie, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. If you weren't. Uh, Roseanne, uh, you wanted to ask me yeah, about Roseanne. Yeah, ask about Roseanne. Yep. Roseanne is wonderful. I got along with her very well. Uh, I, I, she's, she recognizes somebody who's real. She doesn't like fake stuff. She doesn't. No. That's true. Yeah. No, if you're fake, she's like, you're out of here. Yeah. yeah. And she, I, I think she could detect in my personality that, you know, like everyone else, I had my pain in my life. You know, it was uh -huh. hard being brought up by show people. They were never around. Did you, you know? have pain when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. You? Like it was what? hard. Like what? Well, you know, I, I, I was punished were you a, lonely a lot. Child? I was punished a lot. Punished for what? Whatever. You know, it's like my grandmother had those big arms that hang down like this, you know? Uh -huh. And when she would hit me, my sister would fall over as well. We were always getting hit. And I, I was always getting hit by my Christmas toys. Like my, my, my oh. grandmother would pick up my Barbie doll and hit me with it. So I got really? smart. I started ordering like underwear and soft plushy animals. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, but that was hard. And I got kicked out of school. Uh -huh. I always had to have attention. Um, I got arrested for disturbing the peace. I, I had that kind of pain because I felt that uh, I was misunderstood. I was misunderstood So you were a, a wild lot. girl when you were and young. And I wasn't a very attractive child. You weren't? Oh, hideous. Hideous. Mm -hmm. Just hideous, Skippy. I didn't start looking good till about a week ago. No, I didn't start looking <laughs> good for a long time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I couldn't find my face. <laughs> I couldn't find your face. <laughs> find my look. I, I had very curly, awful uh -huh. hair squinty eyes and, and big teeth and a small head uh -huh. and uh, I just was not attractive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I couldn't get it but I was funny but you do but you do uh, do uh, the uh, stand-up uh, comedy for the uh, you did it or I think it was the warm-ups for uh, the Emmys the uh, Emmys yes. tell me about the warm-up oh that was wonderful you did the warm-up oh, those people must have loved you that was great I had to have an evening gown right which was fabulous mm -hmm. the girls were out of course and uh, I had a bow around my neck, and I had this whole, you know, the audience that are on the, on the bleachers right. where they had the red carpets? Right. I had to get them going before the stars came up. Did you really? Oh, and it was wonderful. I mean, I had to do things like, who's got something goofy in their pocket? And I had uh -huh. to say, does anybody do any impressions? And then uh -huh. I did an impression, they did an impression. It was great. But you know what? The minute the Emmy started, it's like, okay, you're, you're, you're finished. You uh -huh. Give us your badge. Uh -huh. I go, but I want to I want to see the stars. They go, you're, you're finished now. Go. <laughs> oh, so sad. I want to walk down that carpet. You will. Oh. Tell I took me a little piece of carpet. Tell me, that's okay. We'll get you one. Tell me something about Stallone's mom. <laughs> you, do, you do a wonderful impression of well, Jacqueline I Stallone. I, I just saw I her just one night. I thought she was so funny because she had her. She was selling her astrology number, and she's yeah. like, "Listen, I got an astrology number here, and I'll tell you something. You know, I told my son Sly, don't go out with Scorpios, do you? Go out with Aquarius. <laughs> You know, my worker is in retrograde. Had he just listened to me, he wouldn't have been with that big uh, hunky chick. What's their name? That Bridget Nielsen. But now he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the favorite lady you like to do? I love Cher. Cher? She's fabulous. Tell me about Cher. Cher is great. Cher, I, I love the fact that she keeps getting plastic surgery. Uh -huh. You know, I love that. And uh, You think a girl should keep herself... Well, I haven't had any yet. Everything no. I told you is real. Really? No, re really, it I, is. I believe you. Well, you're young, darling. Well, you're thank you very much. You're but very I bet young. No, but people start tweaking very young now. No, but you They know. get stuff done. No, they do. I'm telling you. People in yeah. their 20s and stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm still not only 19. Mm -hmm. But did anyway. You, did you ever model? Because you're beautiful. You've you oh, got well, a great you. body. A oh, five foot five, honey. Five foot five. But remember I told you, I was... See, five I was a cute... Five foot five, eyes are blue. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> like... Remember that? Yeah, I think so. It was five yeah. foot two, but that's okay. Oh, is it? Legs are blue. Anyway. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Legs are blue. Ooh, my sunglasses. What has, that's oh, how does it, do I still look no, okay? Your hair looks great, Oh, but darling. do I still have height? Those glasses were <laughs> yeah. giving me height. You tell know, me, what has been the hardest? No, you asked me about Cher. Yeah, the reason on, I love sure. Cher 
She's had a lot of work done, and she was doing the Equal commercial for a while. Do you remember uh -huh. that? Yes, yes, But they yes. took it away from her, I think, because she's had so much plastic surgery that Cher can no longer say the word equal. Equal. <laughs> Watch. Equal! <laughs> equal! Okay. If you weren't a comedian, actress, La Mer, what would you have done? Oh, gosh. Um, what would I have done? Maybe, I don't know, be a welder? I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> you don't. I would have to do it. It's, I'm disposed to do it. I can't help but do it. I mean, I, I'm upset this is only 29 minutes here. I mean, uh -huh. I, I would go on forever. What you know? makes life important for you, then? What really makes life important well, for you? Well, you kind of asked me that before, but I'll answer it but again. I do <laughs> want to answer it. What, what does it make important for you? I, I think getting up every morning and, and Is having that a that pulse. Is very important for That's you? That's very important that I have a pulse when I wake up. It's very important that I have breath. It's important that I have good breath. Um, it's important to me to uh, have joy in the morning. Uh -huh. To uh, I, I'm in the process of having my character work on. Not only do I. How do you do that? Well, it's it's just not having to get my way all the time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not being so selfish, and and not being so self-centered. You know, I I was starting to sing songs like I was always on my mind. I was always on my mind. You know, like uh -huh. I woke up this morning and I was on my mind. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of me. See, I, you can't live like that. And that's what Hollywood is about. It's like me, 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 I, my, my. And I'm trying to extend myself to other people, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know what's so funny? I was I went to feed the homeless this and Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And they told me to wear grubby clothes and I was supposed to get a certain badge because right. I didn't have it. They thought I was homeless. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. and these women kept going, now you sit down, we feed you. And I went, no, I'm here to help. They help go, you. I know, everybody's got pride. That's I'm very like, nice. no. I'm here to help, so, uh -huh. you know, it's so Did funny. you have a nice Thanksgiving? I don't, well, yes and no. The mayor, tell Spending me. it with my family is a little Tell me about off. USA Up All Night. Tell me about that. That's, uh, what's her name? Show? Uh, Ronda Shear. Ronda Shear. Yeah. I love well, she's Ronda. not doing it anymore. She's not? No, they don't have USA Up All Night. They Aww. just have USA. USA. But I did a lot of characters on there. She was wonderful. She, she is, is one. Oh, she's in a fact, lovely girl. I, I wanted to, to say something. She works at the comedy store, too. She works at the comedy Ronda Shear is fabulous. Well, here's what happened. It was, you know, it seems in my life people keep discovering me and rediscovering me. Yes. I'm very nervous about this height. You're fine. Okay, thank you. And um, it's like yourself. I don't know if you remember, but about six years ago, it was Ciro's. Not the main Ciro's. It was Ciro's. Ciro's Pompadour. Ciro's, right. Ciro's Pompadour. Thank you very much. Cross and the it was your show. Ciro's. It was your yeah. show, and Rhonda Shear was the MC, and Absolutely. she had to leave. And she comes up to me, and she goes, Lala. She says, why don't you do a, you know, do uh, some stand-up? I go, I don't do stand-up. I, I do improv. I don't do stand-up. She goes, well, listen, i got to run. And she says, I need you to be the MC. And I'm like, oh, my God. She just hands me the mic. She goes, just go up there. Just yeah. do something goofy. Make a face or something. Yeah. So I go up there. And for some reason, it just worked out great. Richard Belser was, and right. Shelley Winters was R in the Shelley audience. We had some heavy right, stuff right. going on. Well, thank God it went well. I was just introducing people. And Sally Marr, who was Lenny Bruce's mother, comes up. She goes, come over here. She, she goes, saw it. She goes, listen, she I, want to talk, I want to talk to you for a second. She says, you're going to be a big star. I said, how can you talk? She goes, because you can talk. My son can talk. You can talk. Just keep talking, and uh -huh. you'll do well. You came up to me, and you said, Mary, you were fabulous. Who are you? You should do stand-up. I go, who are you? I, you call, I call everybody Mary. You called. <laughs> I know. I love it. Yeah, go ahead. And so it well, was you great. Should. You were married to a Mary. I was married to <laughs> Hey, honey. Go so ahead. anyway, I love the makeup. And so <laughs> the thing is, is that, um, so you kind of discovered me as well. And then it was like when the second husband didn't work out, I decided to go into stand-up. Right. And uh, I went to an open mic, and it worked out really well for me. And I've been doing stand-up ever since, so it's been five years. Five years. Carol Caroline Ray saw me do stand-up, mm -hmm. brought me to Broadway. Right. Got I the Emmy. I mean, it just seems that people keep seeing me doing this stand-up. La Mer. Yes. Series. Is that what La Mer is looking for? Because... You know, when you I work at comedy stores, you did a one-woman show? Yes. What's, the, what's it about? Well, what I did was I did a one-woman show, mm -hmm. and I brought somebody out of the audience mm -hmm. that I had never met. It wasn't a plant. Mm -hmm. Cut their hair live on stage. Oh. And did my act. Did your act while you're cutting. Yes, and talked about my mother uh -huh. and the father and um, my sister who works at the post clever, office. Clever, clever idea. I like it. Different. Cutting, yes, very. Very different. Cutting someone's hair. Well, I did my yes, act. You did your act it while you're fabulous. doing it. fabulous. Interesting. Which yes. Now, let's talk about my series. Yes, I would like a series. Would you like a series? I would love one. I think I'm totally Because they do come to the comedy store, because that's where you're working all the time now. Yes. You work the main room, oh. the original room. I work both rooms. Both rooms. And, and I worked your room. You you're, work the belly room, right. I'm there, which I'm there Saturday nights. But tell me more about the uh, comedy store. There's a lot of directors, producers, casting people come. Well, it was and that was such a glorious experience. I mean, you know, I had to audition for Mitzi, and uh, 
she took me and I, I tell you since then my life has really changed like what well I all the stuff is going on working, I mean, like traveling I'm working on the road. I'm traveling on the road um, I'm doing TV shows mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing the club circuit uh, you know and it's it's opened up a lot of doors for me and it's made me a, a, you know a stronger comedian because when you're on that main room it's like being in Vegas yes, yes. you've got 400 people you have to entertain and, and Mitzi is is very particular on who she chooses mm -hmm. and uh, I was very pleased and she's been very very gracious and kind with me and the radio shows you've done a lot of radio shows too face oh, to a face lot. yes and all all over LA hmm? Oh, Peter Tilden. Peter yes, Tilden. that was a great show. Uh -huh. We were like bing, 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 because we were uh -huh. like really fast. Right, right, yeah, I right. love that. Um, and going back to the series, um, yes, I'd like to have my own series. I'd, and I'd also like, or I'd like to be a part of a really strong ensemble, or be the mm -hmm. goofy neighbor. A pretty girl like yourself, you destroyed your face. You make your face go mm, all kinds of sort yes. of ways. That's always been that way with uh, La Mer? What, the facial distortion? Your facial, yes. Well, facial. actually, I was born that way. <laughs> but I love what you do when you do your impressions and all, you know, all the... Oh, yeah, my 900 yeah, number. Yeah, because you, you do the that. Asian girls, you do the French, you do the German, you do the New right, York, you right. do all of them. Oh, what about them. the lady? I love the one that gets the plastic surgery lady. Like, I actually saw this woman. Let's the go she ahead. was like, she says, you know, I just recently had some plastic surgery done on my face. And um, I love what the plastic surgeon did. He gave me that kind of Picasso thing, you know? And it's just really great because uh, I don't look like anybody else, and uh, I don't really look at anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love that. Things like that. See how quickly oh, you did and that. And you loved my 900 number. You know, tell me about the 900 number. I love. Well, that. you know those That's girls that are on there. They go. On the 900 yeah, you hear that? You, they have them playing like all right. night long after Jerry Springer. On the it's my favorite show. No. And and you hear this like music. You know, this really cheesy music, and these girls are like, can't sleep. Pick up the phone. You know, and you and you see them wiggly, and you don't know what they look like. And of course, these poor dears that call the phone uh -huh. number, they, they think they're getting that. Yeah. And they're actually getting this. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh, I'm Bambi. <laughs> I've got a body by God and a face to protect it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what those poor... <laughs> I bet they do get that. Oh, I bet some oh, of them honey, do get please. that. Huh? Do you think those good-looking girls and will I'll be on the other end? And I bet some of them, they get drag queens, too. I understand drag queens. Guys are on talking like girls probably on my the ex -husband. phone. Pardon me? <laughs> yeah? Probably my ex-husband. Probably your ex-husband <laughs> talking on the phone. Oh, well, you <laughs> never know with these do people. Did you have any kids? No, not no, yet. Not, not yet. No, you don't. I love children. You do? Yes. I just uh -huh. don't, please don't put them on your answering machine. That's all I ask. <laughs> what is your answering machine like? You must be a crazy answering machine. You wouldn't believe the stuff that people leave on that. They leave their children on there. Like, you know, I come home, I'm tired, uh -huh. it's late at night, and they go, uh -huh. oh, isn't this cute? I just left this on the phone. I think this would be cute. And you hear the kid uh -huh. going, and I'm like, yeah, that's cute for the mother, but to me it's a very effective means of birth control. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother's name is? Beverly. Beverly. Bev. I, Bev. 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 Jack and Bev. And she is working at this wonderful place in Palm Springs. Isn't which that is that amazing? It's, a, it's just fabulous. It's, I think we all should end I up think, there. <laughs> well, I don't Have know Have you ever about seen that. the show? No, I haven't. I heard oh, she was wonderful. And matter of fact, Donald O'Connor is there this year. Yes. Donald O'Connor. Oh, please. can you That's great. Who yeah. was there last year? Uh, um... Was it the Mills Brothers? No. Oh, John Biner. John Biner. Oh. Biner. Excuse me. Ah, Biner. Great John comedian. Biner. John. Great oh. comic. Great. He's fabulous. Yes. In fact, is. my mother's living in his apartment now. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So that's that's very good. And my father came down to see the show. How many shows a week do they do? They, they do them every. I think every night. They do every. And they night. have a matinee on Sunday. And a matinee Sunday. They really pack them in, don't they? Oh, and they work them. They really do. Ooh, and she really them. enjoys it. And your dad stays there with her? Well, no. 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 They're not married. Mm -hmm. That that wouldn't work out. Oh, they're not married. Oh no. Oh, they separated already? No, they've already. been divorced for a long time. Uh, My mother's had two other guys since him. Uh, uh, what's your philosophy in life? Uh, my philosophy in life? Boy, I love these questions. They're so deep. Well, because I, you're not, so I, deep I've, looking, I've not you know. been deep. I feel so deep dish. Well, okay. Um, deep dish. <laughs> Go I ahead, deep dish. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, what my philosophy in life is, is uh, let go, let God. Let go, Sweet. let God. Let go, let God. And That's just enjoy life. Let it go. Forgive people, no matter what they do. You've got to let go and forgive. Isn't that Just wonderful? Just forgive them. You do forgive, so, don't because you? Because you know what unforgiveness is? is like taking poison and expecting the other person to die. Right. And the other thing I've always learned is never have expectation. Because you know what expectation is? Premeditated resentment. It's, it's not good to have. No, you get ill that way. You, yes. Let it go. 
So if people are, are eerie and savory, it's like they're a creation of God disguised as something else. Let it go. Let uh -huh. it go. Let it go. It's not worth it's it. It's totally harmless. It's it? not worth it. I not used to get mad at everybody and, and just be like, like, hi. And those passive aggressive people are like, hello. 